Hey guys, AOT Manga here, back again with another video. So, uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Plague Inc. And, uh, a little out of the ordinary, as I said in my one video. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're going to, uh, be doing bacteria tutorial on how to do it on normal. So, uh, this doesn't really require any genes. I did it without any genes, but, uh, yeah. So we're going to call this one like I did every other one since it's the first thing that you get when you play the game. We're just going to call it Nem1 for Nemesis. But uh, yeah, you don't need any genes specifically. This gives you more genes. This is a um, this is um, Metabolic Jump. You get more DNA for popping red bio biohazard bubbles. And this is um, Travel Genes. This one's called... A cross site, whatever the heck. Increases chance of plague spreading by sea. And I don't have any others. I'm close to getting the rest, but uh, we have this one. It's called environment genes. I want to get more, but this is the only one I have right now, sadly. Uh, these genes boost your plague in specific environments. Select one and insert your genetic code. For Oh, wait. Was that one even the one? Whoopsie. <laughs> Zero file. I did not even give your plague a bonus in arid climates, which is good because you start in a lot of arid climates when you start off, unlike this one, though. I got uh, by land, by that, and by sea. But um, since this is bacteria and we want to get Greenland especially, you want to use this one because Greenland's a pain in the butt. Um, and so is Madagascar due to them um, both being only... You can only get to them by ship in this game, but... uh. Yeah, let's start this game up. <coughs> so, welcome to play game. Blah, blah, blah. So, the country you want to start in is China or um, India. I prefer India, but for the sake of it, we're going to go China. This is not for any specific reason. But you get more for collecting bubbles. I can get nearly 10 DNA points possibly from this or something like that. But uh, first, what you want to do is save up till 19 DNA points. Because when you purchase one water, air one or water one, this is going to go to 10. So we're each going to get air one and water one when we get to 19 DNA points. And because of this, I can speed up. So uh, I want to cut to you when I get that many DNA points. Okay, guys. Um, so I wanted to show you this thing quickly. So uh, when you pop red bubbles, I got a thing for red bubbles where you get more. But, you know, we have exactly 19 DNA points right now. But uh, you can pop red bubbles too. Those give you points. But you evolve both of these. Now remember what I say about how this, when it has nine, this one's going to cost nine DNA points. But when you buy that, this one's going to go up one. So you're going to have ten DNA points. So you're going to want to save up to 19 exactly for that. Or more. Don't try to go too much over because then you're not going to be on the right time. But uh, quick tip, any symptoms. Symptoms might mutate. So um, keep those out of the keep those out of question. You do not want you want to devolve any symptoms because you want to work on transmission and um, abilities like you want to get like cold resistance and uh, drug resistance one. But you're gonna save up points once you are able to infect the whole world. And then my strategy is just literally go down this line with rash. It's just going to go lethal because it's going to lead. All the way to heart failure, to insomnia, to um, stop scientists from working on a cure. But uh, yeah, basically you want abilities and transmission and symptoms. Devolve them if they at all mutate. But um, yes, yeah, so it's going to say you have successfully evolved NEM1 and all that. But uh, I'll get back to you when we have enough DNA points to get... Um, we're going to get cold one. And uh, yeah... So once you get cold one, you want to get cold two, and then, but first we're just going to get cold one, because unlike a lot of viruses, you're going to need both of these, though. So. Actually, bacterial hardening resilience would work for hot climates. I would need cold, actually, I believe. But, um, yes, we're going to get uh, air two and water two. Those both cost more. This one's going to go up to 18 or so. So I want to buy this one first, I'm guessing, because that one will go up less points. But, uh, yeah, I'll cut back to you when I'm able to evolve all of those. So, uh, yeah. 
Okay, guys, so, um, quick thing. So, I've just got, um, cold resistance 2 and bacterial shell. Now, some of you might actually want to get heat resistance because my arid climates will allow me to go to hotter climates without having to spend much money on this. So, bacterial resistance will, uh, do more for me than actually, um, resilience, not resistance, will do more for me. But, uh, you might want to get this, and, uh, yeah, you want to save up to about 50 D DNA points at this point in time. And, uh, yeah, I've, uh, got a few countries, um, done. So, uh, if we go to world, this is the cure. 99% is good, but that's only because we just started. Like, we're only five minutes in. But, um, infection spread summary, if you go to there, you see the infected countries. And these are all the healthy countries, so that will help you. But so far, I've got India, UK, Central America, Korea, and China. Obviously, I can expect these two, but due to airlines and me getting cold resistance too so quickly, I was able to spread to, spread to places like uh, the UK. But uh, due to bacterial resistance and my humid climates, I was also able to spread to uh, Central America easier. But India, Korea, and China are all close to each other, so that's not much of anything. But uh, yeah, save up to 15 DNA points. I'll come back when that has been done. And uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so quick thing. So we had nausea sy symptom mutated. I didn't exit, but I already devolved it, but this is nausea. If you have anything to do with vomiting or diarrhea, it makes it easier for them to find cures. And plus, it's in symptoms. So my point still stands on that one. But um, yeah, never let that happen. And uh, quick thing, though, we've got a lot more of the world infected. And uh, our countries went up in, like, literally a span of, like, two minutes in my time anyways. But uh... Yeah, just wanted to show you this quickly. And uh, remember, stay till 50. Okay, guys, so once you've gotten um, 50 DNA, I got 52, as you can see here. That helps anyways. So for you guys' sake, I'm going to show you this quickly. So I'm going to get this just to show you. But you want bacterial resistance, and then you want to get these two. Now, uh, it's going to take me a little more points to get this. But um, basically... Yeah, I'm just, you get two of these. It's not really worth the center part with bacteria, especially on casual. But, um, not casual, I mean normal. Why am I even thinking like an idiot? I don't know. But yeah, normal. As you can see, my severity is really low because I don't have any symptoms. But, uh, yes. Once I get all that done, since I got this, Bear. once I get this, I'm going to get, um, for transmission, I'm going to get water too. And then it's just a waiting game, so I'll cut back to you when I get water too. Okay, guys, so, um, I, well, I was at it, I got water too. As I said, you don't really need this, but you can go for it if you want it, but waste of points, in my opinion. But as I said, I only got this to let you know, but, uh, everywhere's pretty much infected, I believe. All of Africa's going down. Greenland, finally. Canada, I got. Um... I'm almost done with all of Africa. I got, um, this place. But, uh, if you can't tell, since I, I have no symptoms still. Another reminder, but, yeah, the world kind of went to this really quick. And now there's a bunch of infected boats. Now, keep in mind, if you have severity too early, they will shut down harbors. And also, if you kill too quickly and there's still healthy people left in the world, well, that just screwed you over because... You're not supposed to have healthy people left. Like, if they kill all their host, the bacteria, then you won't be able to do anything and you'll lose, even though it's the virus is alive. But, uh, you might be like, why are the people dead? That just happens over time. People just die in the game. But, um, yeah, because in this game, the world can't repopulate. In other words, so, um, when people die, it just counts automatically. But uh, half the world's infected and all that good stuff. I opened up another app because I'm an idiot. Don't mind that. For God's sakes, please. Um, yeah, I'll cut back to you, though. It's just loading in. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, basically we're saving up still. My uh, thing glitched out. The game crashed, but thankfully it's saved. So, uh, got to cut out again. And I'm going to edit these two different videos together. So, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, now as you can see here, 
I have destroyed the whole world and I have infected the whole place. So, um, now we are going to go straight for lethality. So you see here, I have 131 DNA points. Now, usually you don't have to have this much always, but, uh, quick thing. We're going to go straight for lethal. Now, you, many... <laughs> different viruses <laughs> take different ways to go lethal, but uh, yes, my brother is laughing in the background. So, um, <coughs> oh, fresh, sorry, coronavirus. <laughs> sorry, guys, my brother is laughing in the background. This is very unneeded, and unwanted attention. <laughs> And now he's overreacting. And no, now, it's my asthma now he's ruining the whole. Okay, as I was saying, people go for different um, lines of. <coughs> people go for different lines of uh, lethality or severity in this, but uh, for the bacteria, you want to go for a rash and everything. So you're immediately going to get noticed, but due to leftover DNA points and everything. You're not actually. You're going to be able to use it for genetic reshuffles and hardenings to um, stop the disease, and basically kill all of humanity. So uh, that sounds fun, right? Yeah, very fun. I mean, I know it's. You can smell me, virus. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Now we're just going to go straight for lethality, and <coughs> kill the whole world. Mm. Caesar's symptom. Yeah, mutated. I'm gonna go woo woo. Okay, guys, so, uh, we are back, and now we're, um, killing the whole world. Now it says, new minor disease is spreading, first death in Sweden. It's going to go like this, it's going to be annoying, because once you go through it a thousand times, it, it, ju it just gets a little, like, really, once you kill everything, a thousand. So, you want to fight the cure. The cure's going to go up fairly quick now, but you're going to kill the world, uh, even faster. It doesn't really matter. If you, um, what you do at all. But, uh, yeah, it, as I said, it actually does not really matter. It's going to go fast. You're going to kill the whole world before then, but when you kill people, you get DNA points. So, uh, you can do things like this genetic hardening and reshuffles and stuff. They bring it down a lot. Now, when you get to the, um, bioweapon, doing, um,. Using things to slow down the cure is very fun because the cure starts off right away, so you don't really have a choice to do anything. But yeah, we've already killed a billion people, and uh, they're not they're pr you know you can get better points point scores, like you can get better scores for uh, slowing down it slowing it down, but uh, it goes down a little and slows down. I don't want it to get over fifty because um. I want a good score so I can get more genes to, you know, make other videos easier and quicker. But, um, yeah, because I could have had every gene for every slot, but no, it had to give me three and how to spread the, the disease quicker. But, uh, yeah, you see you're going to get points really fast as you kill the world. And, um, due to that, you can, uh, I want to get genetic rehardening and genetic shuffle off the bat. And you can get up to genetic shuffle three. So that's going to bring it all the way down to 29. And it's going to kill the world so fast that we're at 6 billion. This is a really good score for me. Like, it's actually one of my best scores yet in this game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this. We're going to get this for number two. We're going to bring the cure all the way down. This is my best score on the cure. It's like doing tutorials helps me so much with this. But, uh, yeah. The whole world's dead. Uh, it has about 8 billion people in the world. So, uh. Almost. Okay. Yeah, so, uh. Yeah, this game is very accurate, though. Like, at the beginning, it's going to ask you the question. Think about this in real life, because this is a very realistic game. Spreading-wise. Except for the bioweapon and nanovirus. I kind of find that a little uh, outrageous. But, um, yeah, basically the whole world's going to die. I'm going to get my uh, best thing yet. And it's going to say, NEM1 destroys humanity. NEM1 hasn't destroyed the world despite the world... I mean... Nem one has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans are know they are watching the end of history. The last few humans know they are. I don't know why. I cannot. Probably sitting in the bunker. I'm just stumbling. I'm just imagining though that one last mad scientist in his bunker, already infected, about to die, just like furiously working away on a cure for no reason. Nine must find the cure. Nine. And my brother is already being annoying. But uh, yeah. That's it.
I just won the game. Victory. Nem1 has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. So, uh, my bacteria is called Nem1, yada yada, 1,028 days. It gets quicker sometimes, but, uh, yeah, cure progress 27% complete. Uh, score is, this is my best score yet, 11,420. And DNA sequence complex, difficulty normal, disease type bacteria. So all that good stuff's right here. Uh, we exit. And uh, let's see what we got. We got Darwinist. Oh, this is a good one. But, um, yeah. That's how you beat the game for bacteria. I'm going to do a tutorial on virus tomorrow or next week. Whatever I feel like. And this is AOT Mango. Have a good day, night, whatever the hell. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a good night. Comment if you like the video. AOT Mango.